the fourth week of Advent. This is Stever. And this is Father Barry. We have our three candles lit. We're ready for the fourth. That's exciting because it means we're in the fourth week of Advent. It leads into Christmas before we get to the next Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord of gladness be with all of you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Epistle of Jude. But you, beloved, build yourselves up in the most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God and wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. Praise to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Be glory, majesty, power, and authority from ages past now and for ages to come. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Now we come to our lighting of the fourth candle and its prayer. Dear God, our minds and hearts are filled with hope. We long to hear the voice which tells us of the coming of the Christ child. Amen. So we have now our four candles lit. We're expecting Christmas now. Our Advent hope is nearly realized. Now you will go to your class and its Advent page, and we thank you for being here for our prayer. Thank you. The fourth week of Advent. This is Mrs. Stever. Hi, Father John Barry. Our faith focus, and we're on page 245 in your book, Why was Jesus born in Bethlehem? Well, well, I know a few things about that, but mostly because God picked the place out way ahead of time. He picked it out, the city of David, shep the shepherd town. He picked it out kind of in secret. And then he had Joseph and Mary just happen to end up over there at Christmas. So let's talk about Bethlehem, the place they went to. Now it's famous, but back then it was just a little town. Little Bethlehem. Let's read together. People live in small towns all over the world. Very often, people who have become famous were born in these small towns. Long ago... A man named David lived in the small town of Bethlehem. He became king of God's people. Years later, another leader wanted to know how many people lived in his land. So everyone had to go to their family's hometown to be counted. Joseph and Mary went to Bethlehem because Joseph belonged to David's family. The prophet Micah said that the Savior who God promised to send his people would come from Bethlehem, just as Micah said. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Let's turn the page. And you can read with your family. You can be the all or maybe your parents and your reader one or they'll read with you. But this week, do the legend of the Christmas donkey. And you read the story as a family and in parts. And then they have a little activity at the bottom for you to complete. Ah, the legend of the Christmas donkey. I've seen 
some manger sets that are live sets, and they usually have a donkey there because they think that's how Mary traveled over to Bethlehem from Nazareth. Legend of the Christmas donkey. That reminds me of a funny thing I heard that Mary and Joseph, when baby Jesus was born, they said, Alleluia! And the donkey went, Alleluia! <laughs> All right, we have a final song, and you repeat the first line after me. O come, O come, Emmanuel. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. Shall come to thee, O Israel. He's come to us in Bethlehem. Amen. Amen. Alleluia.